Oh, what's up guys? JFM here. Welcome back to yet another episode of the Survival Let's Play. I'm very excited for today. Today, uh, we have a lot of good, good stuff planned. And I have a few comments, suggestions from last video for you guys. So hopefully you guys are pretty excited for a brand new day of the Let's Play. And I guess... The first thing I want to do is I want to continue brewing just a little bit because there were a few potions that you guys wanted me to make that I didn't actually make last episode. And one of them was an invisibility potion. And uh, I have a specific comment here from Carlos Ibarra who asked me to do just that. So I thought I would build ourselves or craft or forge or brew. That's the word. Brew ourselves an invisibility potion. Now, I think I need a golden carrot. I'm not too sure. You know what I'll do is I'll look it up really, really quick. I think it's a golden carrot, but I'll check just again. And guess what? It is. It is a golden carrot, but I also need a fermented spider eye. And I don't know. I don't even think I made a golden carrot last episode. So I guess we could make one of the... We didn't. We made glistening, glistering melons, but we didn't actually make any golden carrots. So... Why not? Let's have some fun. If I, well, if I have carrots, that's, I guess, the biggest problem here. I may not have carrots. Do I? Oh no. I don't know if I have carrots or not. Oh no. Can we not make an invisibility? Oh, we cannot make an invisibility potion. We can't make an invisibility potion? Oh man. Well, there is something we can do to fix this. I'm gonna go visit it. I'm gonna go visit. Do I still have the swiftness? I still have 50 seconds of swiftness. Let's go run over to the village and see if there are any carrots left over in our village. And I think the closest one is over in this direction. So I'll run over there and maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to find some carrots. And we are just about here. The village is literally just over this hill. So we should be able to find it. And it's becoming nighttime as well, which is a little bit spooky, but... Uh, let's see. There's, there's gotta be carrots. I think, yes, this was generated before 0.12.0, so it's not just going to be beetroots. Hopefully, anyways. There may be carrots up here. We'll take a look. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I don't know. Are these, are these carrots? Can I find out? Do I have bones? I don't. Well... I think we'll have to wait for some monsters to spawn, and maybe we'll just have to get some bones from some intruding skeletons. I don't see any skeletons, although there may be, there may actually be carrots over here. Um, I'm not too sure. Oh, there's a zombie over here. You know what? Zombies can drop carrots as well, so maybe this guy will drop us a carrot. Can we get a carrot? Can we get a carrot from you? Please, I beg you. Did I, oh my, wait, whoa, whoa, I got an iron ingot though, didn't I? That's really cool. I got an iron ingot out of it. That's awesome. Um, but no, no carrot, and that's what I need. So, either a carrot needs to come by, or I'm gonna need a skeleton, because I need to figure out what crops these are. I can't tell if these are... Wait, can I... Oh! <laughs> I don't need it to be fully grown! Well, I'll take that. I'll just grab these... Just grab these carrots. I'll save a few for a farm, but wow! I forgot! Okay, well, I'm not... It's not exactly very, uh, profitable. I'm only getting one carrot per... Per every, uh, per every crop, but that's alright. So I'll take those carrots, and I guess we'll make our way back home now. Now that we've done that, so that's very, very cool. Also, one of the potions I really want to make is a, 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 I think it's a weakness, a splash potion of weakness. And, and I also need a golden apple or something along those lines because I want to be able to cure a zombie villager. Because if for some reason a zombie villager comes by my house, I want to be able to cure it. And, uh, be able to have a buddy living by the house. And, oh, look, there are bones right here. Bones served up on a platter for him. He didn't even have to, didn't even have to fight. That's awesome. Oh, and there's another zombie over here. Can we get a carrot from you? <laughs> no, but we can get a few pieces of rotten flesh for Frosty and Buddy. I'll take that. The dogs love their rotten flesh. They do, do, do. Uh, but the house is just over here, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do another jump cut. We'll just wait and, uh, and we'll be there in just a second here. But I guess, the second thing I want to talk about is I'll flash up a comment on screen. A few comments. Um, Alicia K commented, make a snow golem and call it Frosty. That was the most thumbs up comment of the series uh, so far. Not the series, that episode. That episode, at least. Oh, and I need to eat. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe I'll eat some of those carrots. I guess so. I guess I will. But yeah, so that was definitely really thumbs up. The problem is, is I haven't been able to find a snow biome yet. So unfortunately... I can't do that because I don't have a snow biome, so I can't make a snow golem. But once I find a snow biome, I will definitely do that. But the name Frosty 
isn't really gonna work because we already have a dog named Frosty. Frosty the Snowman would have been a very good name for Frosty, but we already named her Frosty. So, what we could do is we could change her name. I mean, she's only had her name for one day, so she may not really, really notice the difference. We can make it sound the same, right? Because if you notice, if you, if you have a dog, let's say your dog is named Max. And then instead of saying Max one time, you say, I don't know, Dax? Like D-A-X? That's a name, short for Daxter. You could say that, and the dog will still respond to you, right? <laughs> I mean, my dog is named Bailey, and I could say, I could say anything that sounds like Bailey. I could say, I could say wheelie. I could say wheelie, like I'm talking about riding a bike, and I guarantee she would respond to it. So, we could get away with changing the name if we want to, but there was also another comment from Eleanor Kennedy, who uh, said we should name the snow golem if we make one icy. And that's not a bad name at all either, so I'll let you guys pick what we do there. But first off, we gotta find a snow biome. But, uh, yeah, so that's just basically my thought on that. But here we go, a golden carrot is made. And I guess, you know what, we'll just make two golden carrots. We'll make two golden carrots, and we'll put the seven extra carrots we have left in one of these chests to make into a farm later. Also, on the last episode, I did see people saying, um, a lot of people did comment, we should make a, or I should make, a nether, uh, nether, ooh, what was I saying? What was I going to talk about? A nether farm? N no, nether warp farm. So we'll definitely get that done later on. Oh, but I do need a water bottle. Oh, okay, look at this, look at this, look at this. So, oh, oh, no, stop that. There we are, there we are, okay. How do I get this? Okay, let's see, let's see. Where is my, where is my trusty? There it is. My glass bottle. Perfect. We've got it with water. So we'll go ahead and put the water bottle in. And first, we're actually going to need regular nether wart. Forgot about that. So we'll brew up this potion here. And we'll put in our nether wart. So that should be good. And then next, I think, I'll check online really quick. Let's see. I'm going to need the carrot. Uh, for the invisibility potion. And then I'm going to need a fermented spider eye. And then, uh, I think that should be it. I think. I'm not too sure. But I think so. Um, and then we can also make a splash potion of weakness with a fermented spider eye. So I'll definitely do that as well. Um, okay. So, um, let's see. Is this done? It is done. Perfect. So now what we'll do is we'll add the golden carrot, uh, which should work out nicely there. And I think that's going to make night vision. And then once we add the spider eye, we will get the, um, the, the, uh, the invisibility, which will be pretty cool. And let's see what else. Do I have any more glass? I really would like more glass. Oh, and I, you know what? I may actually have the stuff left over. I do. Sweet. I have some left over, and I'll go ahead and put more sand in there. I'll make a few more bottles. I think three. It's going to be three more. Yes, three more glass bottles, and uh, we can make this splash potion of weakness now. So let's go ahead and put a, uh, a bottle in. Did I not make bottles? I did, but I have to fill them up with water. I forgot. So let's fill it up with water. And uh, let's put one of these bottles in here. I only need, I only really need one for now. Um, and then we can put, I guess, the other two bottles away, um, as well as this splash potion. And uh, what I'll need is I'll need gunpowder, and I'll need a fermented spider eye. And I think that should be it. Now, this potion is done. This is a potion of night vision, and that's cool. But let's put a spider eye in and let's get ourselves a lovely invisibility potion, which would be much cooler. And this one we have a water bottle, so we're going to need nether wart first. And, uh, yeah, that should be good. So we'll make this one into a splash potion of weakness, which will enable us to cure a zombie villager. And I think maybe we'll do that this episode. Maybe that'll be the big thing we do this episode. Also, I did get a request to do a railway, uh, specifically by a user named Omar Ashraf. And I, I would like to do that, but I'm not going to do that this episode. I know I've said I was going to do it. The thing is, the problem with that is it's just going to be, it's just going to be a big deal. Like, it's going to take a lot of time. I have to figure out the coordinates and everything. So it's going to be a lot of things to watch. So I may start it in a one episode and then finish it on a stream, a live stream maybe. But we'll figure that out as, as time goes on. But, uh, I guess what we'll do now is we'll make our potion. Why don't we make it into, why don't we make it into a longer lasting potion? How about that? So we'll grab some redstone and we'll turn this potion into a super potion. Use some of this redstone to make our, uh, invisibility potion last a little bit longer. And, uh, what do we have over here? Okay, we have the potion of weakness and now we need to make it a splash potion of weakness. We'll put away the rest of our potion ingredients here and that should be good to go. So we'll just wait for these things to brew. And, uh, and then I guess we can start working on either uh, a nether wart farm. What else did I say I was going to do? 
I, I don't know. I have no clue. I really have no clue. <laughs> I don't know. I have so many plans for this Let's Play series, and you guys have so many suggestions. But here we are. Splash Potion of Weakness and a Potion of Invisibility. So, that is just about it. I guess we could... You know what? Why not? Let's just chest out this Invisibility Potion. Let's just see what it has. Let's see what it has to offer. We'll put on some armor really quick. Just so that, uh, we'll just put on some armor just so that, like, we, we have something to look at. So it, it looks like we're actually invisible here. Do I have any shorts? I don't think I have any shorts. I do not. I do not have any shorts. Oh, I have... I have another chest plate, though. But no shorts. I guess we can make... Let's just make a quick pair of iron shorts. Why not? We'll make a pair of nice leggings here. And, uh, and that'll just be about it. So we should be able to put on a full set of armor besides a helmet. If I have any boots, I do. Lovely. I'll just put on these chain guys. And we should be able to see what this looks like in third person. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So we'll put on these boots. And uh, now what we'll do is we'll go to third person. Then, and then which one's invisibility? Okay, this one's invisibility. Eight minutes of invisibility. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I think I just broke this. I just broke the flower pot. I'll take that. Okay, so let's do the potion of invisibility. But first things first. Let's see what we have here. Where do we go? Where do we go for third person? There we are. Third person view. Just like that. So we'll take a look at what this potion does right about now. Let's drink it up. Oh, come on. Come on, drink it up. Can I not drink it in third person? We're having some problems here. Third person is not working. <laughs> so can I do it in first person? What's going on with this invisibility potion? There we are. Can't drink it in third person, but here we are. We are now invisible. So let's take a look at what we look like. Let's take a look at what we look like in third person. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> look at this. Okay, let's take off the armor. Let's take off the armor. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's just a floating sword. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at that. We can run around as a floating sword the rest of this episode. That is awesome. So what I want to do now is um i guess we can start working on making a nether wart farm and i think this area over here is the absolute best spot to do it in so what i'll do is i'll just start mining is it me i don't know i'm invisible this is gorgeous we have eight minutes left of this episode to be invisible for and that's just about as how long i have to make this episode because we're already 13 minutes in so this will be very interesting, guys. This will be very interesting. But I want to carve out a little bit of space here. <laughs> this is awesome. This is just absolutely fabulous. I want to carve out a little bit of space here to have the nether wart farm right next to the brewing station. So we'll do this. We'll carve it up. And we'll see what we can get done. We'll see what we can get done. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Good. St this is so funny looking. This is awesome. This makes this makes digging caves actually interesting. This <laughs> this is very cool. This is very awesome. Let's see. Do I have any torches? I do. I have one more torch. So I'll place that in right in the smack dab in the center of this room, so we'll get enough light. And uh, I guess you know what I'll do is I'll just carve out a little bit more of this, and then I will uh, go ahead and come back to you guys once I got that done. I'm just a walking piece of cobblestone. This is absolutely hilarious. Well, anyways, so I've carved out this area, and I want to get your guys' feedback back on what to do. Look, <laughs> it's holding the mushroom there. That's awesome. Okay, so I think this is going to be the room. Now, I want to continue this hallway like I have been doing and just go down this way and have the hallway, but I want to have the farm on the left side of the hallway. So, it's just going it's going to be it's going to be completely normal um except I may have like let's say I may just have for example, I have some fences going along this way, and so you'll be able to, when you're walking in the hallway, this will lead to even more rooms, and then maybe some rooms this way as well, but there'll be a nether wart farm right here for easy access. So if I do that, uh, let's say I have I have the fence in this row, so I probably want to have four rows of nether wart. That's probably the best thing to do in this situation anyways. So we'll carve out two more rows. And, and then I guess I'll start placing soul sand. I know I don't have enough soul sand, so we may just visit the nether again this episode and grab a bit, or maybe I'll do it off camera. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I think this should work out nicely here, so let's just go ahead and break some more of this stuff. Get out of there. Get out of there. And this is so awesome. I love this invisibility. There needs to be a permanent invisibility trick somehow, because this is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> this is awesome. This is making the episode so much more fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So we have this area um and basically what i'll do is this is the area that the soul sand will go so we'll have four 
four uh, things of soul sand. Four, it's going to be four by, I don't even know how long this is. It's pretty long. But uh, it's going to be a lovely, lovely nether wart farm with a ton of opportunity uh, to grow a ton of nether warts. It'll be pretty cool. Um, but let's see. Oh, I don't want to go too low. Don't want to go too low. He breaking. A, it's really hard to tell what I'm breaking with this third person and invisibility. So, it's a it's a challenge. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. But it's a fun challenge. It's a fun challenge. I'm just randomly breaking some other blocks. Like I don't even know how I broke that block under there. But it's okay. It's okay. So we'll fill those up. We'll patch the holes, and uh, we'll get to working. So I guess I could go grab some of the soul sand that I already have, and we can get start to see a picture of sort of what this is gonna look like. And I may, I may actually, you know what? I want to do one more row because I actually, I think, I think I have a better plan of action for this. So one more row back here. And instead of doing four, I'll still do four rows of, of, uh, nether wart, but I want to do, I want to have a little bit of an area in between the actual farm and the fence. I want to have just a small area. You guys will see what I'm talking about. Eventually, eventually you shall see. But uh, I gotta get rid of all this stuff first. Let's get rid of these blocks here. And we'll go down in here and we'll crash some more blocks and we'll hit them up. Our lovely invisible pickaxe dude thingy majiggy. No, don't plant that there. <laughs> put, uh, put the cobble there. Okay, good, good, good. So, what I'll do is I'll have the fence here on this row, half slabs on this row, and then soul sand maybe down on this row. So maybe in the ground. I think that's how I want it. Soul sand here and then nether wart. I think that's how I want it. I think that's how I want it. I'm not sure if that's how I want it, but I think it is. So we'll break this row, um, and we'll see if this works out. We'll see if this works out, but I'll break this row, and uh, you guys will see. It's going to look lovely. And also, what I th what I want to do is instead of making the, this part of the house, uh, this part of the hobbit hole, look like every other part, I think what a cool idea would be is to make the back wall behind the nether wart farm nether rack, right? So it, it basically like mimics the actual environment of nether nether wart so i think it's gonna be pretty cool or nether brick i don't know maybe add a little bit of nether brick to the rack maybe both of it or, or we could use another brick fence here as well that would be pretty cool but this is where that'll go so now what i want to do is i want to run over here uh and check in the chest and see where is the nether rack and nether or soul sand where's that where's all that okay so i have nether rack here and I'll put away some of this cobble. I have nether brick here as well. Put away some of this extra stuff. Do I have soul sand? I, well, I know I do. Where do I put it? That's the real question. Okay, some more nether rack. That's good. I got plenty of nether rack. But I don't have much soul sand. I don't think. And I don't know where it is. I have no clue where it is. Is it in here? No, it's not. Is it in here? Did I miss it? It's not in here. Glowstone's in here. But the nether... So or the soul sand is not... Where is the soul sand? Where is my soul sand? Where is my soul sand? There it is. I missed it. I only have 20, but it's a start. So we'll go ahead and grab some of this nether rack, some of this nether brick, and some of the soul sand. And uh, we can get to start working. We can start working on this farm. So what I want to do is I want to place the soul sand on this level. I want to place it on this level, right? And I'm not going to have enough, not even close to enough, but this is what it's going to be. Um, it's going to be on this level, and I'm going to fill in this whole this whole area. So that is how that is going to work. Oh, the invisibility potion wore off. Okay, go back to the first person now. <laughs> now that that's boring, we'll go back to first person. No more fun. No more fun can be had. Okay, so that's that. That's kind of what I want to do there. Um, and then in the back wall, so, you know, you know, like we have this, right? We got, we have, we have this cool little area. But what I want to do in the back wall is just make it look like it's actually the nether. So maybe a little bit of glowstone, some lava, somehow, without it destroying anything in the house or the farm. Uh, we could add some lava. But first things first, I'll just make it all nether rack. Just so it looks, it just mimics the natural habitat. It just mimics the natural habitat. It, it's going to be really, really cool. S and I can also, oh my goodness, I have a brilliant idea. I could add lava above the ceiling so that you can see the lava droplets dripping down. How cool would that be? So you could see lava dripping from the ceiling. That would be absolutely awesome. So I'm very excited for this. I'm extremely excited for this. But let's put it, uh, let's fill this in with nether rack here. Maybe look, maybe look, maybe make it look a little bit unnatural with, uh, with how this, this, this works really. So we'll make, uh, Maybe not that low. Maybe not that low. But let's say we'll do that. Yeah, let's say we'll do that. So we'll have this here. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that edge. I like that edge. So we'll leave that the way it is. And we'll go down here and... Oh, look at this. What is that? 
Oh, that's just an empty... Okay, I was thinking that was part of my house. That could be nether brick, although, you know what? I'll add the nether brick later. I just want to get the nether rack done. So we'll put the rack in there. Put the rack in there, and then we should be able to get this all out. And you know what? I'll do some of this off camera really quick, because I don't want you guys to see me just breaking and placing stuff the whole time. So I'll, I'll just get the main part of this done. Alright guys, so I'm wrapping up the design here, and I'm very, very pleased. So this is the basics of what it's gonna look like, and it's gonna be pretty cool. And I think if I add that lava above the ceiling, whoops. <laughs> if I add that lava above the ceiling, I think it's gonna look really, really awesome. So, um, now it's just a matter of getting this done and not misplacing blocks, kinda like I'm doing. <laughs> so, I gotta fill in the ceiling here. And I think that's basically it. And then if I want to add nether brick somewhere, I can do that later. And I can also add, like I said, the lava later. But first things first, I'm going to need more soul sand. That's definitely what I'm, that's what I'm lacking right now. So I'll need more soul sand. But as you guys can see, I basically tried to mimic what it would actually look like if we were visiting the nether. When we go grab our nether wart, I want to make it feel like we're, gra we're visiting the nether, right? So what I did was I just basically made a mini nether sort of i mean it's as close as you can get really <laughs> inside a space this small but uh yeah hopefully it looks good and hopefully you guys are uh, interested in what i have to do here this will all be a normal hallway and then there'll be this area right here now i guess oh you know what i could do never mind i know what i need to do i know exactly what i need to do let me go to my stone cutter really quick and let me make nether brick stairs now these are going to be very very useful i also have a ton of extra blocks here so can i just put anything away can i think can anything be put away here let me see if i can cook something can i cook something nope nothing in there okay <laughs> there we go okay i can cook something here perfect so i'll get rid of that awesome and did i pick up the stairs now i have good 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 so i'll grab these stairs and what these stairs are going to do is they're going to serve as what i said was going to be half slabs but i could use these Nether brick stairs. Oh, not upside down. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right. Oh, and not there. What? Whatever. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So I'll do this. And then these stairs will act as, I guess, the barrier between the nether and the regular house. And then I'll have uh, some regular fence here. So that is how that's going to work. And then the nether wart's going to be down there. And I guess I'll start planting nether wart just because it's probably a good idea to, I guess, get started as early as possible. But what am I gonna not need? What do I not need? Let's put away that bottle, and then uh, we'll grab the nether wart that we have. There's no way we have 26 available slots, but we'll give it a go. I think I only have, like, I don't know. I have no clue. But we'll start growing the nether wart, right? Because there's no harm in doing so. So we'll start growing it, and then eventually we'll have enough to fill out this whole farm, and it will be absolutely gorgeous. It will be lovely and beautiful, and we'll have it all here so that looks good to me all right we have six left over that's gonna look awesome so we'll continue working on that in the next episode or sometime soon maybe off camera on a stream i don't know we'll figure it out but that is all i have for today's episode i really really hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching this episode if you did have some fun watching please go ahead and smash that like button show some support if you've stayed this far Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know what your favorite part of this episode was if you've stayed this far. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Love to get the feedback from you guys. But I say goodbye with Grumby. See you guys later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Bye-bye.